Meet GDB client Megan with her guide dog Gallagher. Hi, my name is Megan Barella and my guide dog is Gallagher. He is a two-year-old yellow lab. Megan sits on a chair with Gallagher at her side against a colorful backdrop of GDB photo murals. So my first dog that I ever had as a pet was a canine buddy from Guide Dogs for the Blind. The program was started in the early 2000s and that was right around when I was turning five and before I got Nika, my canine buddy, I was actually afraid of dogs and so when my parents heard about the program, they thought it would be a great way to bring a really well-behaved, gentle dog into the home and give me some exposure to dogs if I should decide down the line that maybe a guide dog would be the best mobility aid for me. Having NECA really helped me overcome my fear of dogs and grow to love them and now have Gallagher. So I graduated from college in 2020. I attended UCLA and studied political science. And right now I work in a sales position for Oracle. I'd been thinking about getting a guide dog for a few years. It was something that became more and more interesting to me as I became an adult. But just being a college student, having so much going on academically, it was a very busy time and it was really important to me to bring a dog into the most stable situation I could provide. Gallagher wags his tail. Class and these two weeks have been very eventful. Um, I've learned a lot being a first time handler about the mechanics of working with a guide dog. Megan and Gallagher walk with their instructor. Growing up with a dog helps definitely to understand some of the obedience related work that he and I would be doing as well as what went into the daily care of a dog. So it's just been a big, um, exciting experience and a lot of learning and growing together as a successful team. So I've been a cane user since I was three and I received orientation and mobility training all throughout my K through 12 education. So I really loved my cane. I, it served me really well, and I'm sure there will be times where I'll still use it. So I feel very fortunate that I have that strong mobility foundation and that I still feel as if I'm a very competent cane user in case there are times when I go somewhere where it's maybe not appropriate to bring Gallagher or he's a little under the weather here and there, and also transitioning in between guides in the future. So I feel really fortunate that I'm able to move so fluidly between both forms of mobility aids. Um, ahead for us, I like to hike, so I'm looking forward to getting him out to some local trails. Being in my early 20s, I like to get out and explore new places, try new restaurants, new bars, so he'll be enjoying some nightlife as well. I'd like to thank the donors for all of their generous contributions. We clients wouldn't be able to have these dogs without that. It brings down a lot of barriers when we're able to get this type of service free of charge and all the wonderful amenities that come along with the service. Photos of Megan and Gallagher. I know the volunteers do so much too, the puppy raisers, all the volunteers who come to socialize with the puppies. So those people are really the foundation of the whole organization and allow the clients such as myself to have such wonderful companions and lead more independent lives. So I can't thank the volunteers and the donors enough. Megan hugs Gallagher. For more information about Guide Dogs for the Blind, please visit our website at guidedogs.com or call us at 800-295-4050.